Hello everyone! In this lesson, we are going to use the trapezoid to approximate the area under the curve. We are going to add six trapezoids under the curve, and that is an estimation of the area under this curve. Let's take a look at a typical trapezoid. Here, if I take the first trapezoid and lay it down flat, the area of this trapezoid will be one half base one plus base two times the height. Base one is f of x zero. Base two is f of x one. And the height is delta x. So we have the formula for the area of a typical trapezoid. Area again, one half f of x zero plus f of x1 times delta x. And we can write it like this. We can put delta x in front and say delta x over 2 times f of x0 plus f of x1. For the next trapezoid, we have 1 half times f of x1 plus f of x2 times delta x. So let's write it down here. Area of the second trapezoid. A equals delta x over 2 times f of x1 plus f of x2. The area of the third trapezoid is delta x, same height, divided by 2, times f x2 plus f of x3. Next, the area of the fourth trapezoid is delta x over 2 times f of x3 plus f of x4. And let's write the first area up here. That's delta x over 2 times f of x0 plus f of x1. Next, we have area equals to delta x2 times f of x4 plus f of x5. And our last trapezoid, the area is delta x over 2 times f of x5 plus f of x6. So if we look at our formula, n will be 6 and n minus 1 is 5. So the left wall and the right wall only happen once. So we have f of x0 and we end with f of x6. All the other heights will repeat. So we have f of x1 twice, f of x2 twice, f of x3 twice, f of x4, and f of x5 will also repeat. So our total area of six trapezoids will look like this. T of n, and n is 6, equals delta x over 2. We factor out a common factor times the left wall, f of x0, and all the wall or all the heights in the middle will repeat. So we would have plus 2 times f of x1 plus 2 times f of x2 plus 2 times f of x3 plus 2 times f of x4 plus 2 times f of x5 and the right wall, which is f of x6. Now let's use our trapezoidal rule formula to find the area under the curve between 1 to 2. First, we look at the height. The height is delta x. So we will say b minus a divided by 5. And because we want 5 subintervals, so we will say 2 minus 1 divided by 5, which is 0.2. So that would be the height. Delta x equals to the height of the trapezoid, and that is 0.2. So let's draw the first trapezoid. And we can see it already. The trapezoidal rule is a better approximation because it is closer to the curve. It's a better approximation than the rectangle. So 
Here we have the first area. The next one is between 1.2 and 1.4. Next, we have a trapezoid between 1.4 to 1.6. And after that is a trapezoid between 1.6 to 1.8. And our last trapezoid is between 1.8 to 2. So we're using the trapezoidal rule as an approximation to the actual answer. The precise answer is the integral between 1 to 2 of the function 1 over x dx. And the trapezoidal rule is the approximation. So let's write down the approximated answer. Delta x over 2 times f of x0 plus 2 times f of x1 plus 2 times f of x2 plus 2 times f of x3 plus 2 times f of x4 and plus f of x5. So we have the integral is approximately 0.2 divided by 2 times f of x0, which is 1 over 1, plus 2 times 1 over 1.2, plus 2 times 1 over 1.4, plus 2 times 1 over 1.6, plus 2 times 1 over 1.8, plus 1 over 2. So when we add all the numbers together and then multiply by 0.2 divided by 2, we get our trapezoidal approximation using five trapezoids approximately will be 0.695635 units square. Now let's calculate the integral and get the exact answer from 1 to 2 the integral of the function 1 over x dx, or the antiderivative of 1 over x dx is ln of x, and we are evaluating this from 1 to 2. That would be ln of 2 minus ln of 1. We can put it into our calculator, and we get ln of 2. ln of 1 is 0, so we can cancel that out. And ln of 2 is approximately 0.693147. If we compare the approximation using the trapezoidal rule with five subintervals or five trapezoids, we can see that it is an overestimation, a little bit over the actual value. Now, I would like you to use for part B the midpoint rule to estimate the area under the curve with five subintervals, so five rectangles under the curve, then answer the following question. Which is a better approximation of the integral, the trapezoidal rule, or the midpoint rule? Good luck on your homework, and I will see you in the next video.